Please introduce yourself and let the audience know about you. Include how, uh, how the art of origami became your passion. I am Cameron and I have been doing origami for probably around three to five years now. Um, origami became my passion um, basically for my dad because at restaurants he would take napkins, fold them into paper cranes and flowers and stuff. So I really thought that was interesting when I was like four or five years old. So then I started questioning about it and I started getting origami kits and stuff and watching YouTube videos, like very simple ones. And I gradually just got better and better at it until it led me to now. What makes origami interesting to you? Share with us and tell us why you make origami better than other art forms. Um, well, origami is interesting to me because it is very calm and it was it's just so amazing how many things you can make out of just one piece of paper. Maybe a couple. Um, but the main reason um, I like it better than other arts. It's just because some origami arts just don't take too long, but other ones that do take long, I just think it's like one of the arts that not too many people do, and it's just very fun for me. And I just what, enjoy what Roblox have you encountered as an origami? What have you done to overcome your Roblox? Um, a roadblock I have is doing really complex origami. Um, um, so normally when I just stop, I, nor I normally just stop where I am when I can't do it, and I just normally trash it sometimes. But And I normally just don't try it again, but sometimes I also just keep working at it over and over until I finally get it and I eventually get it, and I'm proud of myself because it took me a while to make it. Tell us where you get your inspiration from. As I already said, I get my, most of my inspiration from my dad. Um, a little bit of my inspiration came from Gavin, and I'm sure a little bit of his inspiration came from me, because we both teach each other how to make stuff. Um, but that's mainly where my inspiration comes, and my inspiration helps me through what I'm doing. So it teaches me along the way. Walk us through your past, present, and what you hope to be your future as an origamiist. So my past was basically just very simple origami, like stuff just like extremely simple stuff like like this was an origami thing I made when I was like five or six years old just a simple like origami cardinal so stuff like that and like blue jay this was a little bit more complex I think but this was just all super simple stuff that I started out with and then I gradually got better and better over the time. So my present right now is making harder, trying to make harder origami, like stuff that's pretty hard but not too hard. Like this was an origami Mrs. Coles I tried to make, which I'm sure can improve. Um, but it's not the best. So, I think I am doing a lot better from when the past, like an origami Mary and stuff that I'm trying a lot harder with. So that's a lot of my present, and in my future I think I'm gonna continue trying to make harder things um, that are like way more complex, like there's some origami videos of like origami Yoda and stuff and just like giant spider and stuff which I 
might not try now, but I might try a little later. Please share some of your work with us. So, a lot of my work is stuff that I made a pretty long time ago. Like, this is a battle kit I kept working on over and over again. It has a lot of ninja stars. It has, like, two paper airplanes. And I invented a whole bunch of shields made of this origami. Stuff like that. And I made a whole bunch of those. So, that's one thing that I made. A lot of things. This is, um... The origami paper, not really art, but it's what I used to make oh, a lot of my origami. But some more of my artwork. Um, I just want you to, uh, guys to know that it does take a while. This was a spider I tried to make, which turned out barely nothing. Um, this was an origami, I guess last year I came up with making oh. this was an origami baby um I have some I mean, like this was the origami flash that I came up with before making the big one um this is an origami box, one of the tinier boxes, but still a box. And this is a star box, which I have created. Um, but this is only half of the origami I have just stored up. So I have a lot more, which is just origami that I made and enjoyed making, but now it's barely anything. 